think is the most basic evil of earth men at this time. It's not the love of money. It's not the need for control. It's not even the pursuit of earthly pleasure. Those are already standard. We've bagged those ones. In my opinion, it's actually the overinflation of our own value in the general scheme of things. What do I mean by that? We think we're so important, that we're so needed, that we're so great, so necessary for creation to exist, and everything should pander to our wants and our needs. We don't realize that our value is actually overrated, that we are the only ones not standing aright in creation, and everything else is thriving despite our interference. Every time we try to interfere, we actually bring chaos to the table. A snake is being a snake, a butterfly is being a butterfly, an elephant is an elephant. Only humanity wants to be what they're not. And the darkness knows this. It knows all the many cunning ways to massage our ego and give us this overinflated sense of importance and the need for things to go our way. Otherwise, <laughs> we will begin to throw tantrums like spot little brats. Have you noticed lately that humility is now a rare commodity? That we actually point it out and celebrate it as soon as we spot someone who's being humble, as if we expect them to be anything but humble. We're so full of ourselves that if the universe brings us just vital lessons for us to learn from and grow, we complain it's too painful this is not fair why should I, why should i be the one going through this i always say if they give me the opportunity to plan my life by myself <laughs> i would have messed it up long ago so i can't be anything but grateful and humble for the way that life has turned out so i'm learning to just go with the flow to observe the nature of things and let them rest as they should be if you feel anything other than gratitude and contentment for your time here on this earth, it is because for you, power, money, fame, influence, control, enjoyment, <laughs> love of ease, that's what you had in mind. That's what you think it means to live life. That's what you've been sold. And so we spend a good chunk of our lives chasing that illusion. And when it doesn't turn out our way, we think, oh, this is such an injustice because how can Sylvia be enjoying like that and you are not? I always ask, who will the darkness like to recruit to his fold? Who is he more interested in? Does he want those who already belong to him? Those who are good paying customers already? He's backed them already a long time ago. So what would, why would he want, want them? So who is he looking for? He's looking for new subscribers. And where will he find them? In the opposite direction. Amongst those ones who say that they belong to the light. And those ones are his challenge. Those are the, his homework to convert them into new paying customers. So keep your eyes opened. Be on the lookout for how he plans to recruit you. Fish that already, that's already in the basket does not need any more bait. It's the fresh ones that are still in the water that you prepare special bait for. So if you, you're still in the water, shine your eyes for the bait is coming. And what is this bait that he will use? Oh, there's so much. Some obvious and some not so much. The overinflation of your ego being the first one, of your own self-importance, make you think you're the best things in sliced bread and everything should and must go your way. If not, you have to bend it and manipulate it to your will. How does the darkness further its agenda? By promising you money, power, influence or fame over your fellow human beings who will then put you on a pedestal and worship you so that your humility gets flushed down the toilet and you think of yourself as something other than what you are. Whether you're a leader, a politician or a janitor and you say you belong to the light, you're already a target. Yes, we're all showing symptoms of this self grandiose as they call it. That's why if you see a humble person, you're shocked because you're like, 
that reminds me if if that was me would that would i be that good and when we see a horrible person we say oh this one has lost all humility we are all a, an important part of creation but not in the way that we think of ourselves because you lead does not make you better than those you lead in a garden every worm every bird every butterfly is just as important but everybody wants to be a bird or a butterfly but not the worm so that they can look important this place we call the earth has existed long before we got here and still going to be here long after we disappear so a lot is not down to us in fact 99.99 percent is not down to us if it were down to us we would have thoroughly messed it up by now so as you canvas this earth thread carefully with humility for as long as you have this overinflated sense of your own self-importance. Ooh, the darkness has already got a hold on you because truth, there's no fear and does not need a grand entrance to make itself known. So be gentle with yourself and find your humility. Until next time, bye for now.